Hey, Trick Class, let's look at this next example, the ambiguous case of the law of sines. So again, we have an angle, that's angle A, and its opposite side given to us. So that's little a, and then we'll call this angle B. This is little b, and then this is angle C, and so that means this is little c. So when this is the case, the first thing we want to check is, is A, the opposite side, bigger than B, the, side, the other side that we're given? And you can see it's not. 18 is less than 36. All right, so we're not going to get just the single triangle case where we can just jump right in and begin. So the next thing we have to do is calculate H. And H is always going to be equal to the side that we're given that's not opposite the angle we're given. So B in this case, so the 36 times the sine of the angle we're given. So sine A, which is 30 degrees. Now, this is actually equal to the perpendicular height right here. That's what this value h that we're just calculating is equal to, equivalent to. All right, the sine of 30 is a half, so h is equal to 36 times a half, which is 36 divided by 2, which is just 18. All right, and so h is equal to a, which means we have one right triangle. So the angle, the, the triangle that we're given here is actually a right triangle. So this picture is not necessarily to scale, it would actually look like that. Okay, H is A. All right, and because of that, we can easily see that angle B is 90 degrees. That's the side opposite the 36, which is now the hypotenuse. Uh, angle C, which would be this angle right here, would be the 30 taken away from the other 90. So again, all three have to add to 180. So angle, I'm just doing it down here. Angle B is 90 degrees. Angle C is 60 degrees. And then I can solve for side 3. Use the law of sines, that would work, but I could also use the Pythagorean theorem. So little c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Technically, sorry, little c squared, that's the leg. I'm used to just calling c the hypotenuse. c is the leg, that's equal to the hypotenuse, which is b squared, minus the other leg, which is a squared, the way I've got this written. So c squared is equal to b squared is 36 squared minus 18 squared. 36 squared minus 18 squared is 972. So C is approximately 31.18. All right, so when you set this up, if A is not bigger than B, the next thing you do is compute H. H is, in this case, B sine A. It's the angle, of the, the side length that's not opposite the angle I'm given times the sine of the angle I'm given. All right, if a is equal to that, and it was, then that means you have a right triangle. If A is less than that, it means you don't have a triangle at all, and we would pick C. If um, A was bigger than that, but smaller than B, that means we have two triangles, which we'll see in a future example. 